Hey guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how to download directly the files from Google Drive using AppSheet. As you can see in this example, I just need to click this icon and the file will not open. Instead, it saves directly or download directly in my desktop. All right, as you can see. So let's get started. So this is the sample application. So the first thing we're going to do is to review the table structure. So let me show you how the table structure looks like. So I have the, uh, the name, or it's an optional for you. I have the file. The file is uh, we're in when you are adding uh, the files in AppSheet. This is the file, so you can use uh, an image type or a PDF type as well. And we have also the file ID, which is I will explain to you later on. So the file ID is a text type, and you can just leave it, uh, don't show, and of course, it's not editable in AppSheet. All right, let's add some sample first. But before we add some sample, we would like to... Uh, to have a customized folder path here. So this AppSheet app, it saves in my Google Drive under AppSheet data under this uh, folder. So I would like to create a dedicated folder just for this particular table. So I will do that in AppSheet. So to create a customized folder, click that and go to to, to these type details and let's create the folder so the folder name I will say um, let's say uh, app sheet file for example so this is the folder name wherein I would like to save all the files or the uh, images coming from this table and let's save now let's add a sample data. So as you can see here, there is no folder yet. Once we add a sample, there will be a folder there. So land cruiser. Let's upload the photo. Okay, that's an image type. Let's add a PDF. Let's add a PDF type. All right, and going back to the Google Drive, it creates a folder. So this is now our uh, folder, right? So now let's go back to the app sheet. So let's go to the behavior section and uh, create a action here, okay? Okay. So create a new action. I will name this as download and under this table data and select go to a website and then here we have to construct a formula. So the formula here is we're going to use a, a concatenate formula. So we're going to use concatenate googledrive.com uc so we're going to use the uc export so we're going to use download an id and the file id so the file id let's change first the display let's say download okay and save let me save first Alright, so the file ID, since it's not editable in AppSheet, so in order to execute this, uh, this, we need to get the file ID first. So the file ID, in order to get that, we will use AppScript. So let's go back to the Google Sheets, to the database we have. So let's create 
an app script here, a script, so extension. Click app script. All right. We will name this, uh, let's say, my, I will name this as project one for example project file id for example this is the name of the project so i will share to you later on the um the script you can just copy it so all right so this is the script i don't need to explain everything here in the script so there are only three things that you need to change in the script so the first thing that you need to change under this get sheet by name so we need to know the table name so what is the table name in google sheet so this is the table so the table name is data okay so in that script change this into your table name all right then the second thing that we need to change is to get the folder ID. So the folder ID, you can take it from the Google Drive. So this is the folder we're in the file save. So we can just get like this, the folder ID. So click share, copy the link, and just paste it in the browser and get this from here up to here. So that's the folder ID then going back to the script change this then the last thing that we need to change is the here the sheet that get range so what is the column number so the column number here if you wanted to update this file ID for example so you have to count from here one two three four so it's num it's column number four so this will be changed to <clears throat> column number here a second the change from here change it to okay to number four all right and then save it all right in order to test this script as you as you can see here the file id is is not filled so let's try to run the script and see if there is an error on this so when you run it it requires a review permission then select an account of course advance and just go to this project and just just click allow yeah i got a notification <laughs> okay all right so seems the script is working very well there is no error as you can see here as well so the file id it's updated accordingly all right so now, uh, in order to trigger this in AppSheet, we don't need actually to trigger this in AppSheet. We have to create a trigger inside the Google Sheet, right? So let's go to our app script. So the name of the project here is Project File ID. You click these three dots. And then there is what we call triggers here. All right, so let's add a trigger. So the trigger is here. We can just trigger this on edit or on change as well. We can add as well another trigger. All right. Let's uh, give an authorization only. 
All right. All right. So let's add another trigger. Uh, let's say on change in case and save. So we already created our app script trigger. Let's uh, let's try now in app sheet. Let's open it in the big screen. Let's close this. All right. So now, as you can see here, we have the PDF sample. Let's start to download it. As you can see, it opens directly, and that's it. And let's try to the image type. It's the same. It downloads as well. And what if we are going to add a data or a, a file? Let's try. Let's say this is a Yaris. Let's add a photo of a Toyota Yaris here. Let's see. Downloads. And it should also update accordingly the file ID once we save. Save. Going back to the sheets. Should be add directly here to file ID. Okay, it's syncing. As you can see, it's updated. And let's try to download that Yaris. Okay, need sync. Okay, let's sync. And here we go. So here, we can download directly the files or images inside the Google Drive. So if you learned something in this video, don't forget to subscribe or comment if you have any questions. Thank you so much for watching and see you next time in my next video.